Hey, how's it going, guys? It is 4:43 a.m. in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. This is where this video is recording. <laughs> um, I would like to talk about UFC 214. John Jones, head coach. One moment. It's not Greg Jackson, but however, it is Mike Winkle John. He stated that John Jones has an injured arm, an arm injury, going to his fight versus Daniel Cormier. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I also read a few articles on MMA Junkie and MMAFighting.com. And I also read the, uh, the Underground, which is um, Bloody Elbow and Underground M MMA. So I was curious, I'm like, in your arm, Arm injury. Your arm is huge. This is your fucking arm, you guys. This is your arm. Like, which part of the arm is is injured? Um, from what I've read to the rumors, this is just rumor. This is to just spe speculation. I'm not stating this fact. But if you guys know, tell me in the comment section below, because I would like to know. Um, from one, from what I've heard, from what I've read, is that are two possible scenario. Number one. Like this part of his wrist was injured going to his fight against uh Daniel Cormier. So when he punched him, the impact would like it would really hurt him. And number two is of course the the knuckles. That he uh, received a fractured knuckles and there was a few multiple fractured going to that fight. But which arm though? I mean, I watched that fight and John Jones, he is a right-handed fighter. Maybe that's why Daniel was scared. Maybe, maybe I, I can see, maybe that is why Daniel got the advantage of it on stand-up. It's just the fact that he had a few, you know what, he's got, he's got more than a few good shots against him. When they were standing, and Daniel's downfall was when he, well not his downfall, but the turning point of that fight was when Daniel received a head kick from John Jones from his left leg, which um, staggered and tumbled him, and, and, when Daniel was falling back, backward, Jones decided to trip him, and when Daniel fell down, he had to go to, um, to ground pound with his left hand. To me, that's kind of strange, because... He is a right-handed fighter. It would take a very, like, just a quick turn, the quick turn of the body, as a dominant fighter, as a dominant right-handed fighter, just to switch his position and, like, just rain it down from the from the right-hand side. But he chose to rain it down from the left-hand side. So, yeah. So after watching that fight. Okay, so uh, after watching the fight, I don't know how much truth there is to this claim, but it kind of makes sense. But for all that we know, as an audience, as a as a perspective server, he just might be just going to the, to to the motion. You guys, I don't know. I don't know. I believe, from what I've read, from what what I've seen to that fight, I believe that John Jun was he was hurt but not injured. There's a big difference between being hurt and sore compared to an injury. And if his hand was hurt, hurt his arm was hurt, not his left, my left, his left, is his right. That's why he's, he chose not to make that twist. But that, that takes time too. Mm. Okay, well, that's my, a bit of my conspiracy towards this fight. That's my thought. I would like to hear what you guys think. Please comment. In, Please comment. Please comment in the section below. I would love to hear from you. Okay, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.